Hey, in today's video, we're going to go over the tool that is probably about the easiest you can use to update employee data, and that is Manage Mass Changes. So let's go through it right now. To illustrate how Manage Mass Changes works, we are going to work through a business scenario. And in our business scenario, we are going to say that the Dallas office uh, has gotten together and said that traffic sucks and we want to uh, not come into the office as much. So they are going to switch from uh, a five day uh, work week to a four day work week and they're going to work four tens. So now what we need to do is we're going to do the update. And as I've mentioned in another video, um, if we are doing some sort of change where the uh, field that we're changing is something that is stored on both the employee and on the position, then we would want to initiate that change on the position. Um, however, in this case, uh, the change that we're making, uh, the field does not exist on the position. So we need to use a different tool. And that is the tool I'm going to demonstrate today, which is Manage Mass Changes. It's a very simple tool. So we just go to manage mass changes. And I'm going to create new. And I'm just going to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to go Dallas to 410. And I need to create an employee group. So the, we are going to use a dynamic group in order to do this. Uh, this should look very familiar if you are involved in uh, managing permission groups. This is the same kind of functionality that exists there. It's also used in uh, several other areas of success factors. It's been around for a long time. Um, I'm just going to call this group Dallas. And we're going to look up location. And I'm going to choose Dallas. And I'm just going to select, there's two Dallas locations. We're going to use both of them. Hit the update. And now we have the employee, uh, uh, the employee population ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to use today's date for the effective date. And now I'm going to uh, uh, say what the mass change area is. In this case, we're going to do job information and we are going to update the work schedule. And we're going to oh, use Monday through Thursday, four tens. And we need to specify the event reason. So I'm just going to call this a data change. Let's see if there's another one. I'm just going to call this a data change department name change. Um, we have just really generic event reasons in the system. I just, so I need to specify, I need to specify an event reason. I've done so. And now I'm going to click save and initiate. This will make a change to 16 employees. Okay. So it is initiated. It will um, update in just a minute and it will update employees records. Uh, while that is happening, let me say first, the good news is um, if there was a change that did update a field on a position, this tool would also update the uh, field on the position. It would synchronize back to the position. Um, but we don't normally want to use this uh, tool if we are uh, making a change to, let's say, division, department, something like that, because um, it's actually easier to do it on the position side and have it synchronized to the employee. Um, and then plus, there's a huge limitation when we are making changes uh, on through managed mass changes. And that is that if the um, if you're trying to update the employee's manager, um, if you do it through this tool, that change will not synchronize back to the position. So that's why we say if the changes uh, involve both the a, a, a field that is available on both places, let's just do it on the position side. It's safer. OK, so with that out of the way. Let's refresh Dallas 410. Okay, completed with errors. So let's see what errors we had. 
So uh, the, in certain cases, no job information exists. So that is um, the cases where uh, a change did not take place. So again, if you had some bad master data, this tells you about it. So um, with that out of the way though, let's go and let's uh, let's look at one of these employees and confirm that the change uh, did make uh, uh, did take place for the employees that were um, successfully uh, processed. Okay, so here is one of our Dallas employees. And if we look here, you'll see that on today's date, again, as we specified, uh, the event reason of data change was used and the work schedule is updated uh, to 410. So it's it's that simple. Um, if you have a very simple change that doesn't involve any kind of position fields, then I would submit to you that the managed mass changes is probably the way to go. I uh, hope that helps and have a good day.